Hi, my name is M, and I live in Melbourne, Australia, with my two teenage kids and a cat called Darcy. I show you what it's like living in the world's most livable city, home to the world's best coffee and pho, as well as show you some home cooking, beauty, fashion, and styling tips. So please subscribe to Romance Your Life, and welcome to Gen X Diaries. Didn't expect to be doing this today. I've just spent the last half an hour trying to untang untangle three chains. Let me show you. So these are the three chains that are just being so stubborn. Um, there's a cross, a heart, and another heart. You know, presents from friends, lovers. I think I bought the cross myself in the 90s when Liz Hurley uh, was... Um, photograph wearing one they're sterling silver they're not very expensive but I would like to untangle them to either like give them away sell them wear them because it's just sitting in my cupboard so anyway that's what I'm doing today and you know the problem with silver is that it's weighted down so if you hold it up you know and try and untangle it just it's just impossible and it doesn't float in water it's just impossible so this is the furthest and then it's like this big knot so you know it's trying to just tease it out anyway it should be fun oh my gosh this is ridiculous guys well this just happened which is great I think maybe the trick is to, you know, untie them at the clasp and then just pull it out. What do you reckon? I don't know. Let's see. <sighs> We're going to get there. These things are handy. I have a confession to make. This is not the first time that these three chains are, are tangled like this. The first time I gave them to my mum after like half a day of trying to untangle them, she then gave it to my father, who then went away and came back with it untangled. How to untangle three chains. Because the chains are weighted, it's impossible to do it if you are just going to go straight for it. I'm just Googling how to untangle chains. One poster here says use baby powder because it can lubricate the chains. And um, yeah, let's try that. One baby powder. So I've actually re um, un unbuckled one of these and then just taken this because it's weighted. I'm just gonna put some baby powder and see whether or not that's gonna help. Mm. So guys, look! <laughs> Et voila! They said it couldn't be done. People said to me it would be really difficult, but guess what, I've got one out. So this one is actually a piece that I, I bought for myself. Actually, it's not true. I worked for a very cool international PR firm in Hong Kong. And at the end of the year, they give everyone a piece of jewelry from Tiffany. I was given a bracelet and um, I, at that time, I mean, I, I kind of want, didn't want to wear anything too, because I played sport and tennis and I just didn't think that I was going to wear a bracelet. So then I went and swapped it um, for this and it was a really popular piece at the time. It was trendy and anyway, I'll give this a clean, but um, I figured that this is the one that I earned for myself. Thanks to the company that gave it to me as a, like an end of year Christmas bonus. So yeah, a little love heart from Tiffany. There's two more chains in here that needs to be unraveled, so let's go. I have a feeling that this would be much easier to unravel. <clears throat> the baby powder actually does help a lot. I don't know, it just gives it a little bit more, yeah, lubrication, I guess. Oh, my hand, everything's covered in baby powder. See you
This is so annoying. Here's the progress so far. Still not great. I'm getting really sick of this. At this, the moment of truth. How good is that? It actually has come up quite well. And um, do you guys want to know the backstory of this one on the left? This one was given by an ex-boyfriend um, on Valentine's Day. And so I was dating this really lovely boy for a couple of weeks. And then he presented me with this lovely present. And then when I presented him with my present, which was silk boxer shorts in a medium, he was really offended because he said that he wasn't a medium. Look, he worked for Nike and Nike never, you know, hire anybody unless they're fit and handsome. So I just don't know what's wrong with him that he thought that I was insulting him. Anyway, I guess size does matter. Hey, you know what? Clothes are cut differently. So even if you're small, sometimes clothes come in medium. My goodness. Well, guys, it's a beautiful, beautiful day in Melbourne. Check it out. Um, I'm thinking of going for a walk. However, my parents are coming. And so because my parents are coming, they're going to make comments because that's what Asian parents do about how I'm not brushing my hair or not, you know, putting on makeup and not looking after myself. So, you know. Look, I am at an age where things are going to be dry, including hair and skin and nails. So, you know, I um, guess I have to drink more water. Well, I'll just leave this vlog here today because um, parents are on their way. And um, look at Darcy. She is such a hunter. She is checking out a magpie. That's the noise that that magpie is. And it's like a, two, a standoff between the two of them. Um, Darcy, I think, is always on the hunt. I think she's actually trying to protect me, which is so sweet. You know, you can't get more loyal than that. Thanks, Darcy. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me today and watching the tedious process of untangling. It actually took me four hours in the end, but I got there. Now I have three separated chains, which I will wear with pride, despite the backstories. <laughs> I um, will say goodbye and thank you for subscribing. I hope you like it. Um, these videos are quite random and raw and, you know, not very highly produced, but um, it's hopefully bringing you some authentic side of me to the mix all right i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching i hope you have a great day i appreciate you thank you for being here and um, i'll catch up with you soon bye for now